All right, what's going on, guys? It's a Friday night. This is the Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Um, you know, I got out of work, and um, you know, after I took care of some issues, I went online. I was watching some videos, and I continue to watch a lot of Sean's View Entertainment videos because uh, he does have a lot of insight. And most of the time, uh, a lot of his insight and content, I read myself here on the internet. But I will say this, uh, recently he's talked a lot about CM Punk, um, about um, Punk and the WWE mending fences. I totally disagree with that statement that he has said. Um, uh, both sides have agreed as far, you know, like uh, Punk being in the 2015 uh video game, uh, there was a lot of copyright things with uh, merchandising and and whatnot, and so both lawyers, you know, lawyers on both sides came to an agreement. It wasn't necessarily CM Punk, you know, face-to-face -face with Vince McMahon or whatnot, which a lot of people might think, um, and just recently, uh, I just saw a video, he's talking about Possibly, and he said it was only a rumor, and I searched everywhere, all the wrestling sites that I know of, and I know of quite a few, and I didn't, I couldn't find anything that mentioned CM Punk at all, but he was mentioning that possibly CM Punk is going to make a major impact return at Survivor Series by shocking the world and joining Team Cena. Now, I have to disagree with this statement. I don't, I honestly truly do not see this happening um would i like to see it happen hell yeah you know the wwe needs needs somebody like cm punk back in the business but i you know if cm punk were were to return i mean i know that survivor series pay-per-view is the second second longest running pay-per-view in the history of the wwe uh behind wrestlemania and uh it would be a nice uh, gesture if Punk did return, uh, but in my eyes, I, I, I honestly don't see this happening. And, I, and, you know, like I said, I looked everywhere and I found absolutely not a stitch of information even mentioning CM Punk with the Survivor Series. Um, you know, so I'm not sure where, where Sean was reading this information. Usually he leaves a link in the description box and uh, you know but you know, like he said it's just a rumor um this could be just one of, you know a lot of people make videos with a title that tries to you know uh catch people's eyes when you mention the name cm punk which i probably will in this title of this video um you know people are really interested in, in wanting to know what you have to say about it uh but uh, as far as I'm concerned right now, I, I, I really don't see, you know, CM Punk coming back, especially at Survivor Series. Um, and, and, and truly, if CM Punk were to ever return, he's going to make a big splash. And I don't think uh, returning at Survivor Series would be a huge splash in my eyes. And again, um, it would be nice to see, but I honestly don't see it happening. Um so, you know, you got to take uh, rumors with a grain of salt like we all do. And, it, it, you know, it's nice hearing rumors. And it, there's so many rumors that fly about the Internet, as, as we all know. And some are true and some aren't true. And, you know, sometimes they're just 50-50. Per chance, something might happen and something might not. We've heard so many different rumors about Stone Cold being at WrestleMania um, and never, and, you know, it really never happens and, and, you know, things like that. But, uh, for CM Punk to return, I mean, I, I still stick to what I said months ago that if CM Punk were to return, he would return back at the Royal Rumble, um, uh, the pay-per-view in which he left abruptly thereafter and, um, just, you know, to get himself situated for a, a big spot at uh, WrestleMania. Uh, because there's, you know, there's been a lot of talk about 
you know, who's going to face who for the WWE World Heavyweight title, who's going to be the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, you know, at the time of WrestleMania. Uh, is the WWE going to get fed up with the absence of Brock Lesnar and, and what he wants? Um, are they going to continue to cater to him? And if they do, Lesnar will be still champion at WrestleMania 31. Um, and we've already seen a match between Lesnar and Punk where Lesnar defeated Punk. Um, what bigger stage for CM Punk to come back and beat the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? But again, you know, this is just my thought, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not even predicting this because I just think it's, right now it's just totally out of the question. And I think it's totally out of the question that CM Punk returns at the Survivor Series as well. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, there are rumors, though, that uh, Ryback and Cena are going to square off on Raw this coming Monday. And I think there's going to be a respect issue there. And I do believe that John Cena may ask Ryback to join his team, Team Cena. And uh, I believe that Ryback will accept. So we'll just have to wait and see. But again, you know, you can believe what you want to believe, but um, you can, it, it, you know, if you have access to the internet, you can search all the inter internet wrestling sites. And if you if you saw something that I missed out, let me know because I saw absolutely nowhere about CM Punk uh, possibly returning or Survivor Series and joining Team Cena. So just let me know, guys. It is a Friday night. I hope you all enjoy. It's pretty cold and raw and damp here in the Northeast, here in Connecticut. And, um, you know, we just, it is November. So, I mean, this is typical type of weather that we have out here. So, peace out, everybody. Smackdown tonight. Two cage matches tonight, guys. Um, should be pretty interesting. Kane and Ziggler in a cage. And I believe Usos and Golden Stardust in a cage. Um, so, that should be uh, pretty fun to watch. And hopefully... Um, There'll be some NXT arrivals on SmackDown tonight. Peace out, everybody. Have yourself a great Friday night. And if I don't see you throughout the weekend, have yourself a great weekend. This is the one and only un unopinionated, well, actually, more opinionated, I should say, uh, YouTuber here on YouTube.com. The one, the only, the Iceman. Peace out.